ATT with Ricardo Laborio and uh, he's very in demand in this gym. He's been working all the guys very, very hard today. Uh, tell me a little bit about um, what you've been doing with, I know you were working with Masvidal and you're also working with Rich this afternoon. Um, tell me a little bit about how their training camp is going. How you feel. Oh, they're, they're doing awesome. Masvidal has a tough fight ahead. You know, it's, it's a little bit of way out of his weight division. He's fighting 170 pounds against a, a big 170 pounder. That Paul Daly is really tough. Uh, we all know, but Paul Daly is a big contender for UFC. Now he's out. He's been winning some really, really good guys, and he just beat Daniel Castro in Australia. So oh, he has a really tough opponent ahead, but he is just so talented. This kid is so amazingly talented. He's been working so hard, you know. And and Masvidal is a world champion too. That's the kind of guy that if you dedicate himself, if the mind is in the right place, he can beat anybody. That's Masvidal, you know, especially in, in 155, that he's just a weight division. But uh, in Rich Antonito has a his second fight in UFC right now. Uh, I guess a tough proceeding jiu-jitsu opponent. So we're working a lot on this, and he is, he's doing that amazingly great. We just push him hard. This three weeks to the to camp is over, and we're pushing him hard, you know. But it's everything else besides that. It's just the craziness, what we see it every day here. All the, like you see the demand here, there, there, there. There's a thousand things at the same time. But this is what we love to do. That's part of the job. Right on. Mm -hmm. uh, tell, tell me a little bit about Hector. I know he's uh, getting ready again in October. This fight seemed to be no problem for him. And Hector's he's... a beast. Yeah. Hector's going to be a world champion. And, I mean, he's a world champion class guy right now. Uh, but, you know... I think there is bigger plans for him and a bigger, you know, bigger, bigger everything for Hector. Hector can't achieve anything, and he has a perfect mind, a perfect talent. He is he is a hard-working guy. He knows where he wants to go. You know, he got the he got everything. He's just got to get his timing. Well, Hector, right now, his timing is just about he does everything that should supposed to be, you know. And his steps, and follow his steps to, to reach his goal. Hector is a monster. He's a beast. It's the most intense. That's the most intense guy that you're ever going to meet fighting. You know, it's a very exciting. He's he is the Mike Tyson from MMA. That's what he is. Right on. How did it come about that Hector became a part of American Top Team? Well, Hector was he he, he already exposed the, the desire to come over here for a long time ago. You know, we had some major issues with visa there in Australia to to, to come over here and, and be you know with the with an American visa and, and he's here you know that's one of those guys that that you know it's a it's a pleasure to work with him especially especially when you're not have to spar with him yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's a great guy he's a great guy you put a gloves he goes from it's exactly Dr. Jack and Mr. Hyde, you know, he put the gloves on and once he's inside a cage, he's a different person, man. He's a, he's a killer. The guy was breed to fight, I'll tell you this. He was just signed up with UFC back again, you know. I think that that's what he wanted to do since his day one. That's what his mission is. I think he belongs to UFC. I think Eves, uh, it's he belongs to UFC, you know. He's, he's a veteran, but at the same time, uh, he's a young guy, you know, let's put it this way, he's still a lot of fight on him, he, he's very competitive, he's been training hard, smarter, and he's got to get better and better, you know, I think, I think Eve is really, he belongs to UFC, and he's going to make waves there. You see that there's guys that they always, doesn't matter where they go, they're always going to have, they entertainers before being fighters. Eve is one of those guys. Besides the fact that he loves to fight, he's loved He's a very entertaining fighter. You, you love to watch that guy fighting. 
You know, there's not not a one fight from Eve that I ever watched it that was boring. You know, this is makes Eve is a very attractive fighter and a very you know uh, on demand. He's he's in UFC. He's gonna make waves. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me a little bit about the women's team. I know this this week we got to spend a lot of time uh, with Stephanie Mars and also India Heroes and uh, Jessica Aguilar as well. And she did an amazing performance in Bellator. And uh, you know, I know that you these two girls, Stephanie and India, are 145. But uh, you know, they just told me yesterday India will fight heavyweight. She'll fight anybody. India fought mans in Brazil. You guys don't know that. You put a YouTube. Uh, man versus woman in MMA, I think it was the Hugh Heroes, Rio Heroes, I think so, that's what's the man of the van, and, and you're going to see her beating up a guy with a really taller is stronger, I'm telling you this, a guy with a really 145 or bound, but it's a big, big guy, and you're not going to believe it, and that's what this girl was capable to do it. You know, and that's, that says much. I love her to death. I think that she's belongs to the family, and and I hope that she's very successful in her career. Besides that, anything, yeah, we're we're together with her for the rest of her life. She, she's just part of family now, you know. And Hector and uh, Stephanie were having a conversation today. Stephanie said she's going to beat Cyborg. That's that's what a goal that she had. What, what are your thoughts about that? I think that everything is, is capable, you know, if you are if you really believe, if you really hard work for that. You know, I really truly believe in hard work, some talent, and definitely you can't forget that God's above and beyond anybody else, you know. There's every time you step in a cage, you have that 20% of chance there that it's not beating your night. You know, their superior power say, okay, it's not today, buddy. You can beat the guy three rounds and go there, and a, a lucky shot can knock you out. So everything is possible. When you believe it and you you really work hard for it, you can, you can achieve it, you know. Besides that, you know, I truly believe in what she's doing. She's a very talented girl. She can, she can reach and can get anything that she wanted. How, what are your thoughts about Jessica in the Bellator tournament itself? I mean, I know Jessica's, like, really exciting to watch and just genius style of grappling. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but, but Marcus Amata had a great work with her. You know, she's Jessica teaches here at Cooking Creek, and she's our sweetheart. She's our, she's our mascot. You know, everybody loves, you know, Jessica to death. You know, she is... She belongs to get a title. She belongs to be. She's a world champion, two times world champion in jiu-jitsu and grappling, and she is. A, she's our sweetheart. Everybody, you know, cheers so hard for this girl. Everybody loves her so much. Even she's seeing her right now, Jessica. I love you too bad. Uh. But uh, it's it's up there. Is some really tough contenders, you know, especially in my opinion. That Japanese girl is really really tough, and. She's got some work to do. She's got to work hard, you know, making making the right strategy. But if she's be able to to win in anybody, you know, if she does, the, she's in the right day, right time, doing everything that's right, you know, it's gonna be her day. And she's gonna be victorious and bring the bell, and be very happy. Really? And make everybody happy too. <laughs> cool. What is uh, the sort of secret to the family atmosphere here at American Top Team, in your opinion? Uh, my opinion is this, you know, uh, is the conception of we, we we support our families with an American Top Team brand. We support our families, you know, when the guys go fight, when somebody comes over here as a member, when we have a kid in an after school program. This is all generate income who support the families of people that depend on this flag, depend on this, this concept, this dream, this realization of this, let's say, this company. And and you can't forget this. You just can't forget that, you know, if you don't support each other, you know, you ended up being alone in a way that you can't go there and win fights, you know, just look in a mirror and do a katas. It's not the way it works. You need people to direct you, people to push you, people to support you, to carry you when you get knocked out. Everything there, you know, makes sense. You know, and brings together a family close and title that, all right, that's, that's go above and beyond victory. Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to be the champion. It's just one belt. A lot of people are going to be winning, fighting, wanting, and then when the time comes, you're not, 
you're not going to be supported, you know, you know, if you're not winning. Now uh, our philosophy is a little bit different. Let's be together, you know. Let's build it up this in a way that doesn't matter what, you know, you carry the flag, you can help each other, you know, we can help others, not even being a champion. You know, if you yell a guy in the right moment, he got the second win to, to, to perform better, you're already helping. You come over here and train, and you have the skills to push this person to a next level, you're already helping, you know. You're being a good person, you're attracting more members. You're being a salesperson, you attract more members. Everything everything is part of the of the family concept and, and make the company grow and support. How many people here have never put a glove before? You know, and how many people here who never sweat on the mats, you know, and make American top team what it is today? You know, all the salespeople, all the admin people, all my accounter. You know, that's everything there. They're all part of something that you know, in the end of the story, when you have to put food in your table, you got to think about it. So, family, family first, you know, family first, family second, in the second, in the third, and in the last. That's what it is. Right on. Cool. Well, thank you for talking with us today. I really appreciate it. And uh, You're so very welcome. We look forward to more. All right. right. Take care.